Hey everyone, today's topic is 3D interactive websites. It's possible to make awesome 3D websites using JavaScript and 3.js. We already discussed that in the Creative Coding course. This time, we're not going to write code. Instead, we're going to use Spline and see how we can build a website like this with Spline. Of course, we're going to write a little bit React code at the end to actually build the website. But all of the objects on this screen right now is created with Spline. Let's have a look at the page. We have a machine on top left of the screen that produces balls in every two seconds. Just right of it, we have the title Yeti Learn, because this is the landing page of Yeti Learn. And just underneath there is a description text. Down here, we have the animative buttons. They're redirecting to YouTube channel, Udemy, or Skillshare. Moving right, there's a glass tube here. You can see the balls are passing inside of it continuously. At the bottom right, we can see the current page number. And finally, at the very right, we have the pagination buttons. Plus, we can also drag the page to change the dimension since it's 3D. There are some orbit limits, so we cannot change more than the threshold value. So, it bounces back when we release it. There is a hidden phrase here. It says, hey, curious, on the left. Plus, we added a fancy sentence on the shadows, and it says, real beauty is in the shadows. All right, this was the first page. You can scroll down to switch to the next one. On the second page, we have something like a seesaw, which has books on one side and the ball on the other. And that ball comes from the first page from that machine. Again, we have another text here. Also, the page number here. Also, the seesaw is located so that it covers the T letter of the phrase. Again, it's an infinite animated loop. You can scroll one more time, or we can press the square here to get into the last page. We simply have two rotating objects. Their material is really interesting. We'll do it in spline. They also receive the light from the center. Same with the previous ones, we can drag this page too. Besides, we have a nice animation when we hover the object on the center. The spheres just get separated and the text is moving. We can go back by scrolling up. Here we are, on the first page again. And yeah, that's the project, basically. Now, let's get to work and see how we can build it with Spline. 